I'm some silly old fool who can't let go. The boy is Ed. They've been my life for so long. Take them away. I'm not sure what I'm left with. I really like you, you know, Lillian. I really like you, Jeff. Why don't you stick around? I've got plans. Nice to meet you, though. Pleasure's all mine. If she's prepared to be reckless with his feelings, she'll do the same with yours. She's not like that. calling an ambulance. That's kids for you. He's been looking forward to his birthday for weeks. Probably all the excitement that made him ill in the first place. Come on, you. Time to get dressed. Come on. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Thanks for coming so quick. It's fine. I was just round the corner. Um, actually, there's something I want to talk to you about myself. What is it? Well... It's, it's difficult. Can I come and see you? Yeah, of course. Good morning. Did you tell him? No. Nope. Tell me what? <laughs> Lillian seems to think she may have solved your house hunting problem. What's in Stoneford? It's a little pricey, but I happen to know the owners are keen for a quick sale, so you could probably make an offer. What did I tell you? She knows everything. You have the details? I can get them for you, if you're interested. I'm always interested. About three weeks, anyway. Okay. Dr. Sweet? Just give me two minutes, Muriel. Uh, Dr. Sweet. Hello, darling. Dad? This is some family you've married into. I'm glad you approve. Do you make you happy? Very. And nothing else matters. See much of your mum? I keep in touch. She's still with, uh... What's his name? Mike. Mike, yeah, that's a good old Mike. She's happy, Dad. Of course she is. What woman wouldn't be happy with a man like that? Did you miss me? Missed you at my wedding. I'm sorry, darling, truly I am. I, I was on a jar band. They really needed me. I couldn't get away. So where were you? Where have you been? Germany. Exporting cars. <laughs> cars? <laughs> Shed loads of them. It was Bulgarian wine before. Yeah, well, you know, you have to change with the times. Never know where you are. But don't I always bring you presents when I come back? Dad. It's beautiful. Did he say how long he intends to hang around? Uh, a few days, I think. I'm not sure. Where's he going to stay? Your mum's put him in Jeff's old room. Is there any idea why? You know, you've had maybe, what, one postcard in the last year? He's been busy. Come on, Nick, don't be like this. Debbie missed our wedding. That wasn't his fault. Something important came up. I don't remember that making things better at the time. Why can't you just give him a chance? 
Because I know what he's like. And what is he like? I met him once and I was 200 quid worse off for the experience. Nick, he's my dad. He's only here for a few days. Please don't spoil this for me. You know, redundancy was the best thing that ever happened to me. In the past 20 years, I must have worked in, what, 15 different countries? Not many people can say that. What does he do exactly, Leon? Anything that's lucrative and legal. Mm, sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, life's full of opportunities. Usually, they're staring you in the face. All you have to do is reach out and grab them. I'm not sure I could live with the uncertainty. Well, it's been tough. But I surprised myself. Didn't think I had it in me. What about your wife and kids? What did they get? A share in the spoils. How about if they just wanted a father to read them a bedtime story? Nick. Well, life's a struggle. You can't make things good just by wishing it that way. Yes? I was looking for Anna Winterson. Uh, it's my wife. She's not in at the moment. Uh, she left this at my salvage yard. She was taking a look around and she must have forgotten. The address was in the pocket. Right. Thank you very much. I was in the area, so I thought I'd drop it in. Thank you. Right. Sorry, uh, did you say you worked in salvage? Yeah, Eddie and Eddie Sweet. We've got this fireplace we're thinking of getting rid of. You might want to take a look. Sure. Liam seems a decent enough chap. I've had more trustworthy people offer to tarmac the drive. That's what I like about you, George. You never make snap judgments. I can spot a rogue a mile off. Well, this style's not very popular at the moment. I could take it off your hands, though, maybe interest you in a replacement. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'd be doing you the favour? Wow. Must be good. Player of the year. Ah, oh, there were moments. What about yourself, Eddie? You a sportsman? Nah, it's all a bit beyond me, I'm afraid. Pool's about my limit. Hustler? No, I never win. You're just what I expected. I'm sorry? I know who you are. I, I don't know what you're talking don't about. Don't piss me about. Why else would you be here? You know. I just thought you'd never have the audacity to turn up at our home. I, I... So, did it make you feel like a man sleeping with my wife? Think you were being charitable? Helping the needy? I didn't even know. Know what? That I was a cripple or that Anna was married? Oh, darling. Look who's here. He's obviously finding it very difficult to say goodbye. It is over. Tell him. Oh, get out, Eddie. You've no right to be here. I just wanted to see you. You heard what she said. I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me? That has nothing to do with it. How long has he known? Why did you tell him? He guessed. Please, just go. This isn't over, Anna. We need to talk properly. There's nothing left to say. If you won't, I'll come back. And I'll keep coming back.
Here we are. Thanks. It's been really nice meeting you and Deb's new family. Very nice for us to meet you too. Sleep well. Why did you have to attack him like that? He was only trying to explain what he does. Share in the spoils. Yeah, right. He left school at 15. He didn't have a rich mummy and daddy bankrolling him through college. He's had to survive on his wits. And other people's handouts. Do you mind? That's my father you're talking about. Yeah, well, he wasn't much of a father when you needed him to be, was he? Oh, so he missed the wedding. It's over with now. Do you remember how upset you were? I was disappointed. You spent our wedding night crying your heart out. I was tired and emotional. It had been a long few days. Look, I just don't want to see you get hurt like that again. That's all. Please, just try and get along with him, if only for my sake. OK? Details I promised you, I was just going to drop them off. Excellent. Let's take a look. Oh, I didn't... Don't tell me a guided tour isn't all part of the service. <laughs> I've got something on this morning. Cancel it. I'm meeting Jeff. Well, there you go, then. You'll understand. special up here. I never walk in the morning, but up here it makes sense. What? Nothing. You thought I'd gone? Without saying goodbye? Enjoy your breakfast. So when did Jeff give you the keys to his castle? <laughs> On the first date? No. Second. <laughs> I hope my presence here isn't cramping your style. Why do you think he's so keen for me to find you somewhere? Looking to move in. There's been a few hints. And? And it's a bit quick. Jeff's a good lad. He tries too hard. Well, unlike his father. His father doesn't try at all. <laughs> Is that the secret of his success? Sometimes. How is Daniel now? He's fine. Yeah, he's, he's been OK. Good. He's a gorgeous little boy. You must be very proud. So what can I do for you? I want a DNA test. Sorry? On Danny and me. I want to know if we match up. I, I don't understand. I want to know if I'm his dad. Very spacious. OK. I think we can safely say this is the dining room. If you'd like to follow me. Nice, huh? So, what do you think? We didn't really start going out properly till Jill got pregnant. But she told you that you're the father? Yeah. Said she was sure. But you're not. It's just... People kept saying stuff about her ex. But I just wanted to do the right thing, make sure she was OK. And when Daniel was born? No, he was... 
It was brilliant. You know, I, I love being his dad. So why now? He's moved back again, the ex. So, you know, it's all started up again, all the rumours. And he wants this test? He's not interested in Danny or Jill. No, this is, this is something I want. Have you talked to Jill about this? No. So she doesn't even know you're here? Don't you think you should at least talk to her before you rush into anything? Look, if I get this test done, then that's going to shut people up. But it would mean taking swabs from you and your family, and you'd have to pay for it too. The NHS doesn't cover anything like this. I'll get the money. I think you should take your time. Think it through carefully. Don't do something you'll end up regretting. When can you do it? Well, I like the master bedroom. <laughs> I have some experience in matters of adultery. If you don't answer firms, people tend to get suspicious. It's Jeff. Hello, you. There, I'm with your father. Yeah, yeah, we're there now. Um, yeah, I think he quite likes it. Let's show him. He wants to talk to you. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be quite the thing. Talk to you about it tonight. Okay. See you later. You asked for the guided tour. I want you to break it off with Jeff. I beg your pardon? This relationship, or whatever you think you have with him, I want it to end. Are you serious? <laughs> what if I'm not ready to end it? I'm not asking. I'm telling you. I'm a little confused. What do you think just happened here? Nothing happened here. And as long as you remember that, you may just have sold me a rather overpriced house. You bastard. You're a pretty girl, Lillian. Clever, too. And one day, I've no doubt, you'll find exactly the right person. But that isn't my son. So what if I walk out of here right now and tell him everything? What are you do then? I'm his father. You're his girlfriend of five minutes. What do you think you'll achieve? Get dressed. Here we are then, folks. Cheers. Gastronomic pubs, that's the thing. You get your bangers and mash at three pounds a go. It's Saucisse Normandie, a pomme de terre d'Ofenoise. A 12 quid a whip. Are you thinking of working in one? Better than that. A pal of mine's got the option on a string of pubs down south. Wants me to come in with him. I'll be managing the refurbishments. Sounds good. When you start. Well, as soon as I can come up with the state money. A group of us are putting up uh, 10 grand a head. So you need money? Money is only the means. It's what happens afterwards. That's what's important. And what does happen afterwards? You know, Nick, you and me got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, maybe it's got something to do with this inbuilt bullshit detector I have. I can see why Deb married you. You speak your mind. I like that. Yeah. The wedding. 
Deb's mum had a thing or two to say about you, about why she divorced you. Now there's a woman with a temper. So it had nothing to do with the fact that you ran off with all of her savings? It was a work thing. Sometimes in life, to get ahead, you have to take risks. You risked your whole family. There were the good times, too. Expensive jewellery, nights in the best hotels. I bet she never mentioned any of that. Maybe she would have settled for just being happy. Listen to me, my earnest young friend. Life is not about settling. You sit up here in your father's surgery, growing fat on his reputation, and you think you can pass judgment on me. I have been in situations you wouldn't believe. I have put my life on the line for my family, so don't you... Liam? What is it? Dad? It's nothing, love. Shh. I've got years on here yet. Well, it's definitely not a heart attack, so we don't need an ambulance. But shouldn't he be at the hospital just in case? I've told you, no hospitals. The fact that you responded to this almost certainly proves it's angina. You ever used one of these before? Uh, no. Very simple, you just spray some underneath your tongue. You might feel a little lightheaded for a few moments afterwards. I still think we need x-rays and an angiogram. This isn't working. Can I have a word, please, Doctor? What? Outside. What is it? Is it serious? Will you calm down, please? I am calm. You're not. You're flapping around like a headless chicken. Can you blame me? He is receiving the best possible care that he can in this situation, but from now on, he's my patient. But I have... I won't let you treat your own father, Deb. I won't let it happen. Come here. Hi. I, uh, just spoke to Lillian. She told me all about it. Oh. Well, congratulations. What's all this? I told you I spoke to Lillian. She said you bought the house. I made an offer on it. She seems to think it's a done deal. <laughs> told you she was good, didn't I? Certainly did. doing I needed to see you bullshit you wanted to destroy my marriage it's not what it was like you just couldn't leave it alone could you could you <laughs> would you like to come through blame him. I think I'll probably do the same. Are you sure you don't know who the father is? I'd always hoped he was Ian's, but I've been going out with this bloke and he messed me around a lot. And then Ian came along. You probably think I'm a right slag. I don't think anything of the sort. I think you were unlucky with your time and that's all. <laughs> I can say that again. What do you think he'll do if Daniel's not his? I don't know. Couldn't bear it if he left us. Hey. You take your time, okay? Open wide for me, 
Daniel. Oh, good. Should we go, go get go. another lollipop? Mm. Come on, then. Bye. All right, then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. You really sure about this, Ian? I can't help it. I have to know. The angina certainly hasn't affected his appetite. Well, he needs to build his strength up. Apparently, he's putting together some sort of deal. You think he wants money? I know it. You told Deb about this. Well. At the end of the day, all she wants to have is a normal relationship with her father, just like any other girl. You know what really gets to me about him is that he doesn't even see the pain that he causes. I mean, he gives it like he's some hotshot, when actually he's just a sad little man that has spent his whole life running away. How dare you talk to her about my father like that? At least she listens. Oh, how could she resist? He's using you, Deb. You can't see it because you don't want to see it. You don't know what you're talking about. OK, then give him the money. What money? The money, Deb. The money he wants for his pup scheme or whatever it is he thinks he's going to do with it. My father would never take money from me. Why are you doing this? Because it has to stop. Because you have to see him for what he really is. I know what he is. All right, then give him the money. Tom played rugby for the county. One day the scrum collapsed. When it finally moved, he was lying there with his back broken. And there was nothing they could do? We had two years of tests and operations. Sometimes I found myself wishing he hadn't been such a fighter, such a competitor. You know, just that way we could have learned to accept it and move on. So what changed? We both did. The whole process left us drained and exhausted. One morning, I woke up and realised that I had to have something on myself, some time, some place. I wish you could have told me right from the start. It would have made things a hell of a lot easier. And stopped it before it started? Well, not necessarily, no. Would you really have been interested in a woman who was prepared to sleep with you so she could be a better wife to her husband? still make love to me. <laughs> yeah. But it's not the same. So what are you going to do? I don't know. He's angry, but I know that he still loves me. Where does that leave us? I don't want it to end. Do you have to change your diet? It's more important you change your lifestyle. No more fags and no booze. I know and I will. Mm. We've heard that before. No, I mean it this time. There's nothing left for me on the road. So what exactly are we talking about? I don't know. What do you reckon? Little flat down the road. Manchester, maybe. I could come up all the time. Dad, that'd be brilliant. Nick told me about your pub scheme. Yeah, well, it probably wouldn't have come to much. I was going to give you this to invest for me, but maybe you could use it as a deposit instead. Well, this is an awful lot of money. Can you afford it? Well, I can't. You see, the only reason I came up here was to see if my daughter was OK. And believe it or believe it not, it's something I intend to do a bit more of from now on. What is it? 
last thing. It's just been a, been a busy week. Do you want a drink? It's not going to work, is it? Of course it is. Eddie. Do you want me to leave? Maybe we could meet up or something in a week or two. And just be friends? We'd sort something out. We had something worked out. I just need time to get used to the idea, that's all. What are you doing? I'm going home to my husband. Anna! I knew this was going to happen. I must have been mad. I mean, why would you care? Of course I care. I just... I don't think he deserves it. Oh, for Christ's sake, spare him your pity. Anna, please, I really... Eddie, don't. Don't ask me to stay, not unless you mean it. I had a really good time. Goodbye, Eddie. Answering the phone. You haven't been up to the house in days. Don't gloat. Is that what I do? Has she gone back to her husband? She never really left him. Do you ever have a plan, or does this sort of thing just happen naturally? It's so. Uh... You know, it may surprise you to know, but you're not the only one with problems. <laughs> Boy, lose your stethoscope again, did you? You haven't met Deb's father, have you? When did he arrive? A couple of days ago. You know, you should meet him. He's your kind of guy. Self-centred, manipulative, full of promises. Well, I take it you and him have become the best of friends, huh? And now you're in the doghouse with Deb's. Something like that. Well, bring him over here. I'm serious. Bring the whole lot over. Tomorrow night, we'll do the family thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll even cook. <laughs> you never cook. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I'll stick the oven on. I'm serious. Bring him over. It'll chill Deb's out. Why not? You're on. You could open it yourself. Didn't think it was any of my business. Ian, can I just say... Being a father isn't just a matter of biology, you know. How do you mean? <sighs> any idiot can father a child. A real dad is the one who's there to care for and nourish that child. So whatever's in that envelope, whatever you think it means, won't change the fact that you're still Daniel's father.
Well, what are you doing? We're supposed to be at Eddie's. Come in. Oh, they gave me this damn thing. I suppose I'll get used to it eventually. How long has this been going on? This isn't new. I saw you the night you arrived in your room. A couple of years. So why do you let Deborah think this was your first attack? You see, if I was a suspicious woman, Liam, I might be tempted to think that you were using your illness to get something. I haven't taken a penny. You haven't yet, but you will. Life's full of opportunities. You just have to reach out and grab them. Isn't that what you said? I don't expect you to understand. You spend your whole life living in one place. Never felt the need to run away. It's got nothing to do with running away. Hasn't it? You notice everything, don't you? Well, I notice things too. You don't think she's good enough for him? Is it because of where she comes from? Or did you have someone else in mind? Let me tell you one thing. At least I was there to see them get married. You were too busy making money, apparently. I didn't have a pot to piss in. I was staying in a hostel. I didn't have the train fare, let alone the money for a suit. We'd have helped you out. Yeah, well, I have my pride. Don't you think, Liam, that your daughter should come first? I would do anything for Deb. Would you? Deborah is my daughter-in-law now. Don't you dare assume that I'd ever treat her as anything less. Something to take with you when you leave. I don't understand. I'm sorry. What, what happened between yesterday and today? What did I do? You didn't do anything. So then, please, could you explain it to me? Because at the moment, <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense at all. I just don't think I'm right for you. Since when? I know things, you know, they're not always perfect, but I thought, you know, we were... So we were getting on pretty well, though, weren't we? <clears throat> I'm not the one, okay? Okay. So, um, is there someone else? No, no, there's no one else. Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. Pleased to meet you. This is Eddie. Nice. Hi, I'm Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Can I get you a drink? Uh, a glass of wine would be great. That's wine, all right. Dad's? Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, wine. Uh, uh, do you want yeah, it, mate? Right. Yeah. Smells good, whatever it is. Uh, 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 get out. Nose Hi, away. How are you? Mustafa a la pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you put the oven on. I put the oven on. You've gone to a lot of trouble. Do you mind if I ask why? Well, I just wanted to remind everyone that I am still very much part of this family. Darling, you know something? Whatever happens, that's one thing none of us will ever forget. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. 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 I never was good at backing down. That from my dad. Neither is he. Get sick of this, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the 
can I give you a bit of advice? If something works, don't try and take it apart to find out why. Just rejoice and give thanks. You have no idea how lucky you are. Big family around you. Lovely home. I know he's a bit useless. But I can't just give up on him. Oh. It's my job to protect you. I'm tougher than you think. Friends. Friends. I still get it. What did I do wrong? With some women, you just never know. You ask me, she's still in love with Nick. Did you say that? Did she actually say that? I'm sorry, Jeff. It's all right. It's not your fault. You know, you look more and more like your mother every day. Do you miss her? All the time. I'm sorry, Dad. What for? For not being the father you deserve. Oh, Dad. No, I mean it. My life's a mess. Job, marriage, everything. That's not true. I got one thing right, though. I am so proud of you. And I'll tell you something else as well. You stick with that neck. He's good for you. Yeah, I know. Not so sure about the mother, though. That's a tough one. <laughs> Don't worry, I can handle Georgina. Let's spend the day together tomorrow. Just the two of us. We can do anything you want. How about a picnic? I know this great place just ten minutes away. Sounds perfect. Dad? Dad, are you up? leave? I don't know. Deb. I didn't want to wake you. I left a note. It's just like when I was little. You couldn't look me in the eye even then. 
Dave rang. You remember Dave? He wants me to get going on a pub refit. Yeah. He wants me to start right away. You told me you were going to stop this. I'm sorry, Dad. It's too good a chance to miss. You'll need this, then. All these years, I've stuck up for you. You broke Mum's heart. Made her feel worthless. She didn't understand. No. And nor do I anymore. It'll just be a loan, I promise. No. Don't promise. No. Bye, Dad. be a scandal. Your whole position here will be compromised. Not when I'm married to her. You're joking. <laughs> Don't move. On the way next, Mark Austin with the very latest news at 10, then a change to the published programme. Martin Kemp stars in new drama about a group of London gangsters. Another chance to see Monday's opening episode to the new six-part series, Family, is at 10.30.